on this episode, the cat leaves its mark. It's even got cat paw prints on it. James loves his dry cleaner. Hey, can the bottom of your shoes get this dirty? Yeah. It's got a special Don't coat dry color. clean them later. <laughs> <laughs> the Mercedes gets a speed boost. So just so you know, putting oil on the bottom of your car does not, in fact, make you go faster. Oh. Oil doesn't lubricate it against the air. The oils, you can just slide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hit the brakes, just <laughs> dude. And did MacGyver sell us this car? Is there seriously a pump in there? Yeah, there's a pump right there. <laughs> yeah, he was. Dude, he literally was so, an engineer. So yeah. he was wanting this to catch it yeah. and leave it into there so this could pump it back out. I mean, <laughs> so. as far as ideas, <laughs> I've seen worse. We're back in the car again, in our office, our second office, the juke. The juke. My, my jeans are the dry cleaner. Yeah, so he wore his stretchy pants. <laughs> Sometimes we wear stretchy pants. Uh, anyway, we're going to go get a car today. Yeah. And then we're going to take the Mercedes up to Lance at GT Automotive because they are going to fix it for us. The Mercedes Benz. How much are they gonna fix it for? Uh, one, two, three, carry the four, zero dollars. How do you do this? People wanna be part of awesome things. So we let them. Yes. We let them hang out with us. <laughs> and <laughs> Lance is our friend. So for $500, we have gotten the Audi S4, went yes. to the Mercedes the Ford, yep. C300, yep. the 300 CE, yep. and then we got the Audi A4, then a someone a gave you a scooter, yes. and Toad. we got a Taurus, yep. and now we traded the A4 for the Mercedes. Boom! So currently for $500, and no it. cost to fix anything because Zach's friends fix everything for free. Our friends. They're becoming my friends, but right now Zach's friends do everything for him for free. So the moral of the story is make good friends because then you can get a Ferrari for 500 bucks. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a time. We're going to have to do a full follow-up episode series of people. Hey, there's my cat. <laughs> of People call in Zach's favors, he owes them. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be an interesting Your one. favor is due. <laughs> yeah, everybody's gonna be like, hey, remember that time I helped you get a Ferrari? And I'll be like, yep, I sure do. <laughs> what can I do for you? I got a How date can I help night you? coming up. Can I, uh... How can I help you? Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna get the air compressor out of my garage, and then we're gonna go up and drag a Ford Taurus. With the juke. With the, the juke, oh, down to my house. Okay. Then we're gonna trade its spots with the Mercedes. And then we're gonna take the Mercedes up to GT Automotive. To get it fixed. It's a little dusty. You should sell it back to him. I'm, I should, you're right. <laughs> oh, look, he's got a tractor. All right. It's obviously been sitting in here for a while. Yeah, they've built everything around it. Which key it is. Dude, it comes with a free soda. Yeah, from 2013. We Dude. found out that it hasn't been open since 2013. And just went to Beto's to get lunch. Uh, got some Dr. Pepper. Oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. 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 <laughs> it's not even that gross, but it made both of us gag. <sighs> Why are you pointing the ground? Cause I can't even think right now. No. But there's more? Yeah. Oh. Hannah Montana. I don't know any Hannah Montana songs. Hey, YouTube, what's your favorite Hannah Montana song? <laughs> All right. Okay, besides being incredibly dirty, this car is actually pretty clean and in good shape. Besides being incredibly dirty, this car is in clean shape. 
Yeah, dude, no cracks on the dash. It's because it hasn't moved from the garage. I know. That's, I it's think incredible. The paint is probably going to be good, too. All right. All right. Let's okay. yank her out of here. We just got the Taurus out of the garage. <coughs> Our latest next $500 Ferrari car. Just got it out of the garage. For free. For free, yes. Um, get it over to my house. And then I don't know what we're gonna do today. But anyway, <clears throat> it's out of the garage. Phase one is done. So stay tuned to see what happens next with the 1994 Ford Taurus GL 3.0 V6. All right, we're gonna fill up the Mercedes with oil because it's gonna leak it the whole way. Yes. We got our awesome Mercedes um, hood holder from factory. It was in the trunk. And uh, we're gonna head down and see Lance so he can fix our Mercedes. We made it to GT Automotive in the uh, Mercedes. It was leaking a ton of oil. Look at all the oil on James's juke. Look at that. That's crazy. Gross. Yeah, that is gross. That's why we haven't been driving it. And that's why we're here at GT Automotive to see Lance and to have him fix the car. That's interesting. Well, oh, look at the whole exhaust is dripping, man. Yeah, we need to get rid of that. So just so you know, putting oil on the bottom of your car does not, in fact, make it go faster. Oh. Oil doesn't lubricate if it against the air. The wheels, you could just slide. Yeah. <laughs> you hit the brakes, just. Dude, it's so snowy. But we're back at GT Automotive to see the Mercedes, and it turned into a S6. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's right there next to the S6. So let's go in and see what they have done. I know they've done something because he sent me a picture of it and the engine was taken apart. So we're gonna go look at it right now. Give us a quick little rundown of what you've had to do so far. So, so far, um, when I was looking for exactly where the leak was coming from, I removed your intake, um, found that your oil leak was actually coming from your valley pan right here, and on these Mercedes, your valley pans are actually hidden underneath your cylinder heads. So we have to remove those in order to get to it. Now, in order to get access to everything I need to uh, work on, I have had to remove and drop away the front clip, headlights, take out the radiator, um, and that gives me access to everything on here on the front so I can get the timing and everything taken apart, and as well as getting the cylinder heads off and your exhaust manifolds. So once I get to that point, we'll have your cylinder heads off, <coughs> get it all cleaned up, put back together, get the oil to stay in the motor. <laughs> and not on James's juke. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. So. Cool. But so you we're, think you're about halfway, quarter of the way, 1%? Uh, we are about, I would say about 30% in right now. Cool. But the next, I would say 60% will go pretty smoothly now that I have all that out of the way. Out of the way. So. Cool. Yeah, this is going to be like a brand new car when we're done. That's what James was saying. Once this is all done and cleaned up, it's going to be really hard to want to get rid to of it. not just keep this car forever. What's up guys? So just want to recap you. Um, man, this week was a busy week. So we picked up the Ford Taurus and it needs a lot of things. We're going to have to probably fix two tires on that. Um, we're also going to have to probably replace the battery. So that's kind of a couple of things we have to do with the Ford Taurus. Zach did get it to his house. So that'll be something we'll be working on soon. Also, uh, unfortunately the scooter, as you can see, is still in pieces. Um, yeah, we gotta fix all that. So scooter's still a process, it's still in the works, but because we had to do the Mercedes and get the Mercedes done, like we wanna get that one in and out as quick as possible and it was being fixed. Um, that's kind of been our focus this week. Also, something huge happened. We got something really big for V12. We're super excited about it, so we're gonna tease you about that. Um, so just to update you, we got the Mercedes. We've got the uh, 
the scooter, the Ford Taurus, and our big surprise, which you guys are really gonna like this when we show this off, hopefully next week. So make sure you subscribe to us uh, to stay up with our story. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and keep paying attention to our journey because it's getting pretty amazing from this point on. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.